Hey y'all, I'm Abby, More Than Just Skin, and welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here, welcome. I wanted to pop on here today and show you a look I've been wearing pretty much all week, and it is using just a couple of colors from my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. Now, I was kind of on the fence about this palette, and I've been doing some decluttering, and so I really pulled this out because I was like, do I want to keep it? Do I want to get rid of it? And there's one color in particular this is kind of my mo about palettes there's one color in particular in here that is the reason i cannot get rid of this palette so i'm going to show you the look i've been creating using that color and a couple of others but if you're interested in seeing a very easy makeup look that's good for every day good for the mature woman hit that subscribe button and here we go no surprise here i've been starting by priming my skin with the lumaville beauty makeup on the go mattifying primer spf 50 and i have this in the shade beige Okay, moving on to foundation, and what I have really been enjoying this summer for foundation is tinted moisturizer. Um, I have two that I really like. I like the Laura Mercier one, and then the one I'm using today is the NARS tinted moisturizer. I have it in the shade Gromlin Light 3, and I just like to apply it with my hands. So for me, all it really does is just kind of even out my skin tone. I like to go in and conceal around my face. I have been using the NARS. This is the Soft Matte Complete Concealer, and I have it in Medium 1 Custard. And I just take it on my finger and dab it around where I feel like I need more coverage. Actually, I've been wearing this under my eye as well. I know some people don't like it. I have found that... I have really had no problem with it. I could see where if you were wearing a more matte foundation, you could definitely have a problem with it. But on top of this tinted moisturizer, it works really good. Now we are moving on to bronzer. Still loving my Milk Makeup Bronzer, y'all. This is so easy. I just love it so much. Find a brush. Now, what I'm using next, I'm not sure you can get any more, and it's so expensive. I hate to even recommend it, but it really is good. This is Pink Sand by Tom Ford. It's a cream blush. It's beautiful. Um, I just dab my brush in it and just put it on my cheeks. I'm going to powder, and I am using the Milani Prep Set and Glow Powder. And I'm not going to powder my entire face, um, or I'm going to just lightly powder it. But I am going to take a smaller brush and really set my under eye. Okay, for highlight, I am using my RMS, and this is the Magic Luminizer. Y'all, this is such a pretty highlight. Um, I just take it with my finger and dab it on the tops of my cheeks. And you really get a very nice luminosity going on okay moving on to the eyes and I am starting with a MAC paint pot in the shade groundwork and I'm going to apply it with a real techniques brush looks like this in case you didn't know what groundwork looked like if you've been watching me for a while I'm sure you do because I use it a lot this is just kind of like, my, I'm priming my eyes, but I'm putting down a color to kind of define and contour the eyes. Now we're going in with the Too Faced palette. And I am going to take this shade right here, this beigey color, it's called White Chocolate. And I'm putting it on a really fluffy brush and I'm just gonna kind of dust it all over the eye very lightly. Now I'm going in with this shade right here, Milk Chocolate, on a fluffy brush just to kind of start putting that in the crease, a little above the crease, and on the lid. 
Now to my favorite, favorite, favorite color in this palette is the shade called Amaretto, and it looks like this right here. It's just kind of a mauvey, purpley shade with some shimmer, and I'm just taking it on a fluffy brush and putting it all over the lid and up into the crease. I'm sorry, this is not a fluffy brush. It's kind of a flat, fluffy brush, I should say. You could definitely go further with the shadow, but for every day, this is literally where I have been stopping. However, I have been lining my eyes, and I have been using this shade right here, Triple Fudge. It's a very dark color, and I've just been lining my eyes with that. I'm taking a pencil brush and I'm going to go back in with that shade Amaretto and I'm going to just smudge this across the top lash line. Then I'm going to take the shade Milk Chocolate and smudge it across the lower lash line. Now I'm going to take the shade Champagne Truffle and it's going to go in my inner corner. Now I'm going to pop off camera, do my brows, curl my lashes, put on some mascara, and I will be right back. Okay, y'all, so I'm back. Brows are done. Mascara's done. I used a mascara that I got in my BoxyCharm box um, by Trustique, and it looks like this. Okay, so it's huge. So you pop this top off, and this is supposed to be an eyelash curler. Yeah, no. It's not wide enough to be an eyelash curler, so that's a, that's a flop. But the mascara itself I have on, and I have to say I like it. Of course, I just like the way it applied and the, like the way my lashes look right now. I haven't worn it. I don't know how it's going to hold up or anything like that. And I did get a little bit right here because it got in my hair and my hair flew, you know, just craziness. But anyway, so I did like that. Um, yeah, so now we're going to move on to lips. I'm going to take the foundation off my lips. The lipstick that I actually grabbed was Airy Fairy by Rimmel. Oh, this is just such a good staple. If you don't have it, I recommend you go get it. Okay, y'all, so this is the finished look, y'all. Um, super easy, super quick. Um, something that I think is great for a professional type setting. Something I've been rocking regularly and I have really been enjoying it. Um, if you liked this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. I would love to have you back here on a regular basis. And as always, I hope this video finds you having a fantastic day and a great week. And I will see y'all all soon. Bye, y'all.